everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping to watch. Today I'm going to be talking about some winter wardrobe looks. I'm going to split this up into two parts. I think one part is going to be a little bit more dressed up, sweater, leather, that kind of vibe. And then I think the next video will also be winter looks kind of more casual. Denim and blazers and things that I would wear casually. <laughs> Before we get into this video, please make sure that you like and subscribe. And again, my name is Allie. If you are new here, thank you so much for uh, stopping to watch. I really, really appreciate all your views and love and support. So let's get on with the video. So my first look is going to be a dress that I've had for a really long time and I was kind of on the fence about keeping it or not, but I tried it on again and I really do like the fit. It's going to be asymmetrical shoulder or off the shoulder dress here. It is a midi dress bodycon. Really cute on and it's ribbed. I got it from this is the Carly Bible X misguided dress and I love Carly Bible so much. She is here on YouTube. She normally does makeup and some fashion stuff and she's pregnant now which I'm so excited for but anyway so I really love her dress. I've had it for a really long time. There's definitely dresses like this all over the place. I'm sure some of you might even have a bodycon dress like this already in your wardrobe. So I think that that is going to be in trend for a little bit as well, or at least again this season. And then I'm pairing it with my leather moto jacket that I got from Zara. This is my favorite, most favorite leather jacket. And I think paired together is really, really cute. It has a pretty edgy, chic vibe to it. Pair them with my other black booties that I have from Steve Madden. These are just have a silver zipper up the side. I've shown these a bunch previously. I think it would work really, really well. So my next kind of dressy type of look is going to be this buttoned up longer shirt sweater. It's ribbed. It is a sweater uh, material, but it's really lightweight. It's from uh, Danielle Bernstein. I got it from her Macy's collaboration. I love this sweater. I get so many compliments on it whenever I wear it. It's super form-fitting and the arms are form-fitting as well and then they kind of flare out right at the cuff and you can really button it as low as you want or button it as high as you want too. I'll kind of show some styling in the video but I, I really love that look. I think it's really really flattering and I have it paired with my trusty leather pants that I am so obsessed with and again I've been talking about this in several of my videos as well and styling it with a bunch of other things. Really, when I wear them I feel super confident I say that every single time but it's true I just feel like I look very chic and edgy in them. I absolutely love them. I think having these two type of materials paired together works really nicely. I've tried wearing this type of sweater with a pair of denim or a pair of just regular leggings and it just doesn't work so I think wearing it with something leather or something leather or shinier at the bottom works really well. I think it kind of breaks it up a, like breaks up a monochromatic black outfit a little bit having two different textures so I'm really into that. With that outfit I would pair just a pair of black chunky boots with them and what I really like actually about or my faux leather leggings here, legging pants, is that I don't think, I don't think this is something that I've really talked about before, but it has a zipper on the side here, so you can wear them obviously fully zipped and be a true legging, or you can unzip them and it be flared out over your shoes. I love that look as well. My next type of look is going to be um, based around this sweater. So a cropped sweater with some bejeweled buttons there. They're a cute pearl with like a little silver design around them. I got this sweater from H&M a month or so ago. I really, really like it. It's a really soft sweater and I personally wore it with a pair of jeans, but I have seen it worn with a pair of black leather leggings or a black type of like trouser legging which really looks cute and you can wear it with a belt. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
but today I decided to dress it up a little bit more and pair it with my leather skirt that I have. I think that it's really fun to have it paired with a pair of um, sheer tights. Again, I have it paired with these combat boots. I think the match between girly and edgy I really enjoy and I personally think looks really confident and cool girl type of feel. So getting into the last few pairs of looks and they really are all based around a sweater material and so which I really love it. It's like a cozy meets dressed up type of vibe. And one look that I have, or my next look here, is a pair of, I have my faux leather leggings, absolute must in your wardrobe. And then I've had this, it's a tank top oversized kind of sweater shirt dress. It has a really chunky neck here really really soft and even though it is extremely warm uh, since it is a tank top it is super breathable so so i really like that but again the chunky type of top paired with a pair of black faux leather leggings like this really chic to me at least i really enjoy wearing it it's so so comfortable and cool girl and i think that you can this could be a casual outfit or you also have the option to dress it up with just some accessories depending on what type of shoes you want to wear. I know I really show a lot of black and gray and I think this also this type of brown neutral color will go great with a lot of different things. I think that these would also look good with a pair of lighter maybe acid wash jeans or black jeans for that matter too but today for the purposes I am wearing them with the full leather leggings and I get comfort and a little bit more dressed up kind of two and one again. Next, I have just this sweater dress. I've had this sweater dress for a really long time. It has a cowl neck here, so super chunky. I actually wear it off the shoulder, and then it kind of just goes down, hits about right above my knee. Really, really soft. I believe I got this from Asa. Having a basic sweater dress like this in your wardrobe, I'm sure a lot of people have it already, but if not, I would definitely check out ASOS, H&M. Sweater dresses are everywhere, not going out of style, so I think this is a really good thing to have in your wardrobe. Even since I like haven't fully worn this out in a long time, I have it paired with, I pair with a different type of belt and my over the knee boots. That's probably my go-to if I were to wear this out of the house. But I also find myself lounging around in this dress because it is so soft and cozy. And I really, I would just wear this, a pair of slippers, and it's the best outfit to relax in too. I completely forgot about, I now I have one last thing, sorry. So I completely forgot about this mango sweater dress, but I figured that this type of sweater dress, a lot of people might have in their wardrobe already too. I love wearing this. It's cinched down at the legs and then it kind of puffs out a little bit more once you get to the waistline and the shoulders and everything here. The shoulder or the arm is a little bit of a bat sleeve or a dolman sleeve and it gets bigger at the shoulder and then kind of cinches down towards the wrist. I normally wear this to work with a pair of over the knee boots and with this waist belt that breaks it up and I think makes it look a little bit more fun. I think not as plain as just a regular sweater dress it can look really dressed up but still be very comfortable at the same time. I'm all about that. For my last look, I am wearing right now, you can really only see half of it, but is another sweater look. It's actually a sweater skirt and you'll see it right on the side here, there. But I got this from Amazon a couple, I think a couple weeks ago actually. I had ordered it a long time ago, it's on back order or whatever. I have it now and I really, really like it. It has a really beautiful slit up the side of the leg and I wasn't sure how I was gonna wear this in the winter because I don't think I would wear this with tights and I think this was when I was getting it. I saw it on someone who was wearing it during the fall time. So I was thinking, how can I wear this in the winter or what would I like, what look would I put together with it? And it's this one. I have it paired with just a t-shirt bodysuit and this oversized blazer jacket and some over the knee boots. So it really, everything is covered. So if I were to go outside, 
maybe in a snowstorm or if it was really cold, I feel like I would be very, very warm. Both of the blazer and my t-shirt bodysuit, Danielle Bernstein, again, I got the skirt from Amazon. The sweater material is definitely warm and it is very, very soft as well. And it's a really pretty knit type of texture that it has on it. So I like that. I like that it's not just a plain sweater material. It has some dimension and texture to it, which is great for something that is just a little bit more basic. Just some other accessory items that I did want to share that I do would normally wear with any of these looks. So I have this purse that I got again from Amazon. It was so popular back in the fall time, probably back in September, and it went out of stock and I finally got it back in November, but I really enjoy it. So it's a, just an over the shoulder type of bag like this. It has a nice strap that you can use or I've seen everyone wear it as a clutch. So kind of just putting it under your arm like that. I fully am for that. It's a very chunky type of bag. You can actually fit a lot of it inside because it really just is like a bottomless pit, if you will. But I really like the cinching on the top and that it's just not as structured. I think it looks very chic with anything, any type of outfit. I have a couple belts that I wanted to share as well that I've worn in some of my pictures. So I have my Gucci black belt. It's just the classic with the two G's on it, the thick leather strap. It is an investment. There are dupes out there that I highly recommend that you can get as well. And I think they look just as chic. It was a birthday gift to myself and people from my work had all chipped in to help me pay for it. So it wasn't just a birthday gift from someone. It, I got it for myself and I got the help from all my friends and people at work. So thank you, shout out to you guys. And my next two belts I have is my waist belt that I've worn in a couple of my Instagram pictures and I love, 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 love this belt. I've worn it over, over blazers, over oversized dresses. I can take just a casual piece, like a casual look to a chic look in just a second with adding the belt. And then I have this Western silver belt buckle here and I wear this if I just want a little bit more of a Western chic vibe. But again, I can wear it with dresses, casually with jeans or leather pants, so many different options. All right, so that is the roundup of a bunch of dressy winter looks that I am definitely gonna be going to, something that I don't have to buy because I already have it in my wardrobe, but I had a lot of fun because I was putting together things that I have worn before or thinking of different ways to wear them as well to make them a little bit more dressed up and just feel a little bit different because like I said I've had a lot of these pieces in my closet for a really long time and now I feel a little bit more inspired to wear them. <laughs> I hope a lot of you guys do have this in your closets. I think that pieces like these have been around for a while so there's a good chance that you have them. If not, if you are inspired by the pieces that I have here and are wanting to Get some new pieces for your wardrobe. I'll leave everything in the description down below for similar items or even the same items that I find. So if you have any other comments or things that you really like wearing in the winter that you feel is a must have that goes along the lines of being chic and edgy, feel free to leave that down in the comments. I would definitely love to hear what they are. And also leave in the comments anything that you might wanna see or things that you have questions about, I would be more than happy to answer them and really get to know you guys. With that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for staying to watch, I really appreciate it. Before you leave, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, it's free, there's nothing added to it. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video, bye.